So VMware Fusion Pro, the virtual machine software which allows us to run operating systems like Windows 11 ARM is now completely free for personal use. And this is a big deal because VMware Fusion is capable of running high-end graphically intensive Windows only games like Control and Skyrim. And now free users of the software are now able to get access to all of the pro features of VMware Fusion Pro. And the reason that this has happened is the fact that Broadcom, the giant multinational tech company, has recently acquired VMware in its entirety and also VMware Fusion and all of its products as well. And VMware are now saying that they decided to make the pro version free because our goal with these changes has been to simplify how we bring VMware desktop hypervisor apps to market while maintaining our support of the broader community on VMware Workstation and Fusion users of both free and paid products. So it's actually really good that free users can now use the pro version for personal use. And it actually simplifies things a lot. You only have one product to maintain. And anyway, if you're going to use it for commercial purposes, that's when you pay the license fee. However, for long-term Mac users on VMware Fusion, especially those using it to get games working through Windows 11 ARM, not that much has actually changed. So if we look at the old archived page of the comparison between Fusion Player, the free version of the past, and Fusion Pro, there isn't actually that much difference. We can do pretty much everything that we used to be able to do, both in Fusion Pro and Fusion Player. And really the biggest differences are gonna be in networking. So you can do things like simulate packet loss, latency, bandwidth, connect to vSphere, EXSI, remote host power control, create linked clones, full clones, and also encrypt those virtual machines as well. So to be honest, if you're using this for the purpose of getting Windows 11 ARM games and applications working on your Apple Silicon Mac, not a huge amount has actually changed. It's really for these kind of higher end professional uses, which have now become completely free for personal use only. However, one thing that has significantly changed is the fact that all of the VMware where Fusion downloads are now going to be delivered through the Broadcom website. And if you thought the VMware website was bad, then the Broadcom website is even worse. So in the rest of this video, I'm gonna show you how to upgrade your VMware Fusion to the pro version 13.5.2, or if you're a new user, I'm gonna show you how to download this from scratch and get started with running things like a Windows 11 ARM on your Mac. And if you're using the previous version of VMware Fusion Player for free, which my last tutorial video covered 13.5.1, and you wanted to upgrade to the pro edition, then I'll leave a link in the description for this knowledge base article. And all you have to do is delete a license file within the library preferences folder. But let's say that we're installing this from scratch. I'm going to show you how to do that now. So I'm going to leave a link to this URL at the top of the video description, which basically takes you to the Broadcom website. Follow this link first. What we need to do here is either log into a Broadcom account you have already, or you can press the login button here and then click the register button. And then we'll just create an account completely for free. Just type in your email address and complete the capture. Basically, once you've registered, confirmed your email address, etc., and you've logged into the website, I do recommend going ahead and follow the link in the description once more. More because it's pretty much impossible to find VMware Fusion Pro through the Broadcom website. I've actually tried for several minutes trying to find the official menu method of trying to find the actual software itself, but it's proved pretty much impossible. However, this direct link is going to take you directly to where we need to go. The version that we want is here, VMware Fusion 13 Pro for personal use. So we're going to download the latest version of the software here, 13.5.2. So this version is for Intel and Apple Silicon Macs. If you have an issue here, it says screening required, we have to agree to the Broadcom terms and conditions, and then we can press the download button. Then you need to make sure to fill out your email, company, address details, etc., to move on to the next step. So now that's done, we are ready to download this again. So if you have an issue with looping, I do recommend turning off your ad blocker. But basically, once that verification is complete, then we can press the HTTPS download here. And we can download VMware Fusion 13.5.2. And then once that's downloaded, we can go ahead and go to our finder. Then we can open up this DMG file. And now we've got VMware Fusion available to install. Just double click. Basically, this is going to be the same as my previous tutorial. So what I'm going to do is to link in the description exactly where you need to go to next in order to continue continue this install and then get Windows 11 on working on your Mac. Now, personally, I think that VMware Fusion Play is pretty good for some tasks, but it doesn't quite compare to something like Parallels. To be fair, Parallels does cost an annual subscription, but if you have the ability to pay for it, then you're actually going to get a better experience. It's also the only official way to actually run Windows 11 ARM on an Apple Silicon Mac. It's actually sanctioned by Microsoft themselves, and so it's a much more polished product. You have better features like coherence mode, you have better compatibility, you have better support for your 
your crashes and things just work a little bit better on Parallels. So if you're interested in checking that out, I'll leave a link to my tutorial video for Parallels in the description. And also if you're wondering whether you need to buy a Windows 11 ARM license in order to use it on VMware Fusion or something like Parallels, then make sure to check out my video, which is all about this topic. It might not cost as much as you think. Anyway, I hope you found this little update video useful. Let me know in the comments what you think about VMware Fusion Pro becoming free for personal use only. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.